Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog and um, there's no lectures on today there's actually not really any lectures this term apart from some revision ones that'll be uh, later on this term so I'll probably be just be focusing on revision taking a break uh, for lunch I've uh, just been doing some revision for uh, civil law looking at uh, the Roman law of delict I'm probably just going to go back to the library and get on with some more revision I've got quite a bit to do especially because I'm at the union this evening so I'm not going to have a lot of time uh, this evening to actually get on with um, some revision so that's my plan for this afternoon I just did some revision for criminal law and for tort law. I'm heading over to the union because there's a debate on tonight, uh, which I'm actually helping with. So um, this week, uh, as part of my generalist uh, position, I'm doing events management, which means just making sure that everything is organised and set up for the debate. Um, so that should be good. I'm a little bit nervous because it's the first time that I've had to do this, but uh, I'm sure I'll be uh, fine, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this debate. Good morning. Uh, so first of all, the debate last night was really good. Uh, the motion was this house would return looted art back to its country of origin. And it was a quite an interesting uh, debate. I thought it was going to be quite black and white, but it was actually quite nuanced, which I enjoyed. For those who were interested on how I would have voted, I would have voted uh, in favour of the motion. Mm. But yeah, it was quite good and it pretty much went quite smoothly as well. So obviously it was the first time for me doing uh, some of the different jobs and things like that. Uh, but it went quite well uh, and it was it was just a, it was a good night. Uh, afterwards, actually, we went to McDonald's, uh, just uh, you know, us from the union, uh, which was quite nice. And then we went back to the union and there was uh, it was just like a little gathering uh, just to introduce ourselves to each other. And there was music, so what more do you want? Um, so yeah, that last night was actually really good. Um, probably today, just getting on with some more revision, and uh, it just continues on. But, of course, the revision is important. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my plan for today. So having just done some revision for criminal law and for tort law, I've just come back to my room to have some lunch, and I've collected something that's been delivered from Amazon. These are... Um, clip-on sunglasses, uh, so they'll obviously clip onto my main glasses. I'm going to open this up and hopefully it will be the correct and appropriate size for my glasses. So yes, the clip-on sunglasses do actually fit, which I'm pleased with. Um, and you get this little bag uh, to put them in and this hanger. It's like a little hanger I think it's like to attach it if you've got it in your car for instance. So yeah, I'm glad, that, I'm glad these fit. I'm um, probably going to go back to the library now and just get on with some more revision. So I did some uh, constitutional revision, I've been looking at judicial review. Uh, I did have, um, during my time in the library, I did take uh, a break to go to the shops to get a few things in. 
and to also have dinner with my friends in the hall because it was fish uh, and chips which was delicious um, I'm getting there with the revision, there's a, a lot to do uh, there's like a lot of cases, a lot of uh, things to remember but I'm just going through it and just um, testing my knowledge, seeing what I can remember and um, I think I'm probably going to go to bed now and I'll see you in the morning Good morning, the weekend is now upon us I'm uh, probably just going to do some uh, more revision in the library but also need to think about looking at my supervision work that I've got to complete for next week including for constitutional law and that's on the big picture so I've just been continuing on with my revision for constitutional law and looking over the cases for judicial review because quite often there's a scenario question on the constitutional law paper and uh, that's based on judicial review so I just want to know the cases and make sure I'm getting familiar with them and hopefully I'll remember those for the exam um, just had something for lunch and I'm probably just going to go back and get on with some more revision and preparing for any supervisions next week. Uh, but first, there is something that I, of course, need to do. And here we are again for the laundry segment. I have got my clothes just over here, as you can see. And I've got my card as well, so I'm just going to put my laundry in and just probably just go to the library and wait uh, until the cycle is done. So I just mainly did some total vision and looking at Occupy's liability. Probably going to go to bed now because it is quite late so I'll probably see you in the morning. Well, I did sleep in um, but to be honest I think I need to sleep because I was uh, tired yesterday. It's Sunday so I'm probably just going to go into the library and get on with some supervision work actually, I need to just make sure I'm preparing for the supervisions I've got next week and then there's brunch uh, afterwards which I'm looking forward to So brunch was delicious, uh, I missed that actually because it's obviously what we always do on uh, Sunday I uh, did a little bit of going over my supervision work and I've just been doing some taught law revision um, just taking a little break just to get some things from the shops mainly uh, just bread and things like that and then probably just get on with some Roman law revision next, I think. So I may just do some revision for constitutional law and for criminal law. So I'm probably just going to go to bed now because it is getting quite late. And yeah, I'll probably just get on with some more revision tomorrow. So I think the plan's probably just going to be to get on with uh, more revision. Um, and I've also got to prepare for my constitutional law revision that I've got on Wednesday. So just to make sure I've done all the questions for that and make sure that I'm happy with the answers that I've put. I've just been doing some uh, civil law revision looking at uh, contract law and I've been doing some tort revision as well looking at Occupy's liability. I'm heading over to the Union now because there's a talk on by Lord Fowler and he is the Speaker of the House of Lords uh, which will be uh, interesting again because of the connections uh, to the law. Firstly the talk by Lord Fowler was really interesting so he talked about the House of Lords, what they do, and some ideas and thoughts he had regarding the House of Lords going forward, which was I thought was quite interesting. And then afterwards, um, me and two other members of the Union, including one who had done the Speakers event with Lord Fowler, um, actually went with Lord Fowler and his private secretary uh, to the Ivy, uh, a restaurant uh, where we had uh, dinner, uh, which was amazing. Um, I had... There was an opportunity that came beforehand and I just asked if I could and it was just amazing to her just to be, it was a lovely restaurant, the food was great and it was just excellent just to be able to uh, listen to Lord Fowler and get to talk to him again. But yeah, and then just went back to the union afterwards. Um, a bit late now, so I'll probably just go to bed. Good morning, it's now Tuesday. Uh, I'll be probably going to the Sidwick site later on because there's a few things I need to do. One of those things is to collect some materials that we need actually for our constitutional law exam. Uh, but uh, mainly today I'll be just be getting on with uh, more revision and uh, also making sure I've got everything I need for the constitutional law supervision that I've got on Wednesday. So I've mainly just been doing some revision for criminal law and for tort law. I've been looking over the uh, articles that are some of the secondary literature that I need to try and use in my essays uh, in the exam. I'm heading over to Sidwick site now um, to collect the things I need for the exams. Basically, we get, we're allowed to use a statute book 
uh, for three of our four exams. And for one of the exams, uh, we need a statue, or we might need a statue, that actually isn't in the most recent statue book. So what, the, what they've done is just printed off what we need uh, for uh, that particular piece of legislation. So that's why we have to go and collect it at the Sidwick site. And then I'll probably go to the Union because I need to collect something there. Uh, and then probably then head back uh, to college. managed to get the things from the union and from the faculty that I needed so at least that's done. Uh, I've just had dinner with my friends which was quite nice and I'll probably just go back to the library and get on with some revision. But before that, uh, something new uh, uh, to these vlogs. <music> Welcome everyone to this new segment. Uh, so it's uh, as you saw, it's called Law Snapshot Segment. And um, so I just thought I would just in these uh, segments just briefly touch upon an area of law, just to give a quick overview of it. it might be a particular concept, it might be an area of the law, it might be a case, um, you know, whatever you, you know. And you can always request in the comment section below if there's anything you want, uh, you know, you've heard about in the news related to the law. Uh, or you, so if you want to know more about the offence of murder, for instance, you know, just message in the comment section below. Um, and I thought I would talk about criminal law, in particular, actus reus and mens rea. So for most offences, the defendant has to have the actus reus and the mens rea element of the offence in order to be uh, criminally liable for whatever crime it is, for example, theft. Um, so there are some exceptions to that, so there are strict liability offences. And those are offences where you don't need the mens rea for a particular aspect or a particular actus reus of the offence. And those are generally regulatory offences. Uh, not all of them, but quite a lot of them are regulatory offences. Uh, but we're just concerned with the offences that are looking at needing the, the actus reus and mens rea elements. Um, so actus reus is basically what might be referred to as the external element, uh, the physical element of the crime. So if we look at theft, for instance, so theft... In fact, you have to appropriate property belonging to another. Those are the three actus reus parts. They're concerned with the doing, you might say. Uh, so obviously you have to appropriate the property. You have to appropriate. You have to, it has to be property uh, according to law and has to belong to someone else according to law. So those are the actus reus. They're concerned with, that, like I said, that external element of the offence. Mens rea is the, in, what you might say, the internal aspect uh, of the offence or the relating to the defendant's state of mind. So again, looking at theft, you have to be you have to dishonestly appropriate property belonging to another so you have to dishonestly uh, like you were dishonest there uh, and you also have to have the intention to permanently deprive so those are concerned with the state of mind of the defendant so do they intend to permanently deprive do they uh, are they dishonest in in their actions so the actress phrase is the uh, external element and the mens rea is the internal element uh, of the events. And so that was just a brief snapshot of uh, criminal law, actress face and mens rea. Like I said, if you've got any ideas, put them in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you for um, joining in, in this, what I hope to be a, a regular segment of these vlogs. So yeah, I just got on with some revision for civil law and for constitutional law. I know I've mentioned revision a lot, but uh, obviously given that uh, exams are in about three, four weeks or something like that, I'm um, just obviously trying to get as much done, and obviously trying to get through the content, trying to revise through it, and obviously practicing, looking at uh, exam questions, things like that. So it's just obviously doing as much as I can, and but also doing other things as well, like going to the union. Uh, it's yeah, it's quite late now, so I'll probably go to bed. It's the final day of the week. Um, probably just be getting on with uh, more revision today, and also need to make sure I've done everything for my constitutional supervision that is uh, this evening. I'm approaching Hughes Hall now. This is where I have my supervisions for constitutional law. This one's focusing on the big picture. So basically taking everything that we've gone through and look at how it all connects together. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've just been getting done for some taught law supervision this afternoon. <laughs> from my 
Fit Vision and it was really good actually. So we went for the big picture about things like judicial review and the human rights act which I found quite interesting and very helpful and we had a nice discussion on like the different themes and principles uh, relating to uh, constitutional law and the studying of the constitution. Um, but I'm just having something for dinner now and then probably for the remainder of the day until I go to bed, probably just be getting on with some revision. to get a little bit done, not a lot, but I managed to get a little bit of revision on civil law. And with that comes the end of another vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give the like. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below with any questions or anything you want to point out. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And you can check out my previous vlog by clicking here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.